This question comes from a curious mind, who asks, what if Earth were shaped like a giant pizza, a perfectly flat disk floating through space? Would gravity work the same way? Could we even survive on it? And how would time behave in such a strange world? Let's find out. First, gravity wouldn't behave the way you're used to. On a round Earth, gravity pulls everything toward the center of the planet. But if Earth were a giant flat disk, gravity would still pull toward the center, but not straight down everywhere. If you stood at the center of pizza Earth, things would feel normal. But as you move toward the edges, gravity would start pulling at an angle, dragging you back toward the middle. The closer you got to the edge, the more you'd feel like you were walking uphill. By the time you reached the outer rim, you'd have to lean forward just to stand up, and eventually you'd just slide back toward the center. This also means that water, air, and even people would slowly drift toward the middle. The edges of the disk would be dry, airless wastelands, while the center would be drowning in an ocean thousands of meters deep. Let's assume our flat Earth has the same mass as the real one. That would make it about 16,000 kilometers across to maintain surface gravity near the center. But there's a problem. A thin disk can't hold itself together under its own gravity. The weight of the rock would crush itself, and in just a few million years, pizza Earth would collapse into a sphere. But let's assume some unknown force keeps it flat. How would life be different? Gravity is what holds our atmosphere in place. But on a flat Earth, air would behave like water, flowing toward the center of the disk. This means that only the middle of pizza Earth would have a breathable atmosphere. As you move toward the edge, the air would get thinner and thinner. By the time you were halfway there, you'd need oxygen tanks just to survive. This would also mess up the weather. On round Earth, winds move in patterns based on the Coriolis effect, but on pizza Earth, all winds would be sucked toward the middle, creating non-stop hurricanes. If you lived in the center, you'd be in a permanent storm. If you lived near the edge, you'd be in a lifeless desert. How would the sun work? On our round Earth, the planet spins, giving us day and night. But on pizza Earth, if the disk rotated once every 24 hours, the sun would rise and set normally at the center. But at the edges, daylight light would last longer, and the sun would move in a weird curved path. If the disk didn't rotate at all, one half would be stuck in eternal daylight, and the other half would freeze in endless darkness. That would make life on one side unbearably hot and the other completely frozen. Here's where things get really strange. In Einstein's theory of relativity, gravity affects time itself. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time moves. On our spherical Earth, this effect is tiny, but on a disk-shaped planet, it would be much more noticeable. Since the center of Pizza Earth has the strongest gravitational pull, time would move slower there compared to the edges. If you lived in the middle, you'd experience time at a slightly slower rate than someone at the outer rim. Over long periods, this difference would add up. People near the edges would age slightly faster than those at the center. And if Pizza Earth were spinning rapidly, things would get even weirder. According to relativity, objects moving faster experience time dilation, meaning time moves slower for them. If the outer edges of the disk were moving at high speeds while the center remained relatively stationary, the time difference between the two regions could become dramatic. Someone living near the edge could experience days, weeks, or even years more than someone in the middle over the course of a lifetime. Imagine two twins born on pizza earth. One grows up at the center and the other at the fast-moving edge. If they met again after many years, the twin from the center might be noticeably younger than the one from the rim. Even if all of this somehow worked, there's one final problem. A thin disk spinning through space wouldn't be stable. Over time, gravity would pull the edges down and the the whole planet would start collapsing into a ball. That's why every large planet, moon, and star in the universe is round. Gravity won't let them be any other shape. If some unknown force kept pizza Earth from collapsing, it would still have to deal with asteroid impacts. A big enough collision could shake the disk, causing parts of it to crack and break off into space. It wouldn't take many of these impacts before pizza Earth became a crumbling mess. Probably not. The atmosphere would only be breathable in the middle. The oceans would be trapped in the center, leaving most of the land as dry wastelands. Gravity would pull everything toward the center, making the edges impossible to live on. Time itself would move differently across the planet, causing bizarre aging effects. And worst of all, the whole thing would eventually collapse under its own weight. In short, a pizza-shaped Earth would be a chaotic, unstable mess. The atmosphere and oceans would be trapped in the center, the edges would be lifeless, time would flow at different speeds across the planet, and eventually, the whole thing would collapse under its own weight. So, while a giant pizza in space sounds delicious, it's probably not the best place to live. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mind-blowing what-if scenarios. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.